What is up, sneaker world? It is your boy, Laced Ace 502, where I keep you laced from your feet to your face. And I'm here to have a conversation with y'all about some Jordan 13s that released today. They go by the Court Purple 13s, which you know Jordan brand uses our labels, the color purple as Concord as well. So if you want to call them the Concord 13s, that would also work. To your liking. Oh, but this is my first time pulling them out. I haven't even looked at them. You know, after I ran ran to the mall, I had some other little runs to do. And um, I came back in and ate for a little hot second. So, you know, we went back out and pulled them in. And bam, here they go. The 3M hitting. Just like the, um, I say the 2017, probably when we got the bread 13. Sorry about that. Yeah, I heard that color. But yeah. Black Cat, Court Purple 13s, inspired by the Panther. I've seen in other reviews where people were like, this was a dark purple. But upon me looking at them, it looks like a uh, dark black. It's not purple, but it also gives off a bluish, a navy, a navy look. Unless it's bouncing off of me, or bouncing off the light, it gives me a like, like a tie-dye navy blue look. But if you get these and you like them, you can look and see that for your, for yourself. The quality on these, this pair, um, it has a little lint on it from the uh, the box paper. I've seen some on reviews that had real bad. Uh, Glue stains. These don't really have any for real. Of course, it's going to be glue here because it's different materials. But I'm the main part areas I would look at glue stains is the areas that are the same or like if they're fine. Now, when it switches from leather to suede in between there, of course, you're going to see different layers or different different uh glue quality because it's not one piece so um but where this is like this is leather and uh rubber it's pretty much one piece but this is like three different materials meeting here it has the suede here the mesh here and then the rubber so of course you're gonna see that it shows a little bit more uh, I have seen people say where the purple is a little messy on the molding of the sole. That's not that. That doesn't bother me that much. I do have a little thing on the carbon fire. That fiber, that's not anything. But overall, the, the upper and all of this up here is pretty. I give it a 10. Um, If you want to, if I could compare this shoe to anything, like, to me, the, um, to me, this suede is more like the, um, Shattered Backboard 13s. It was like a real, what do they call that? <laughs> it was like a real, real, real deep suede, like a. Not a not a flat like new buck usually is. It's like a real I, I don't want to say premium, but it is it does have the little uh backstroke motion. But and also I would compare it to the uh Carmelo class of 2002 13s, but it's not any bleeding or anything on these. Now I have seen some other 13s like the um Ray Allen, not P.E., but they were like a, 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 G, a GR version of his P.E., sort of. 
Dara suede was nice too, but it wasn't as, to me, it wasn't as thick as this was to me. Uh, uh, the orange shattered backboard was, looks the same as these do to me. Um, but, uh, these are my early, early access pair from finish line. If you got these, um, they really sold out slow online, um, on the sneakers app. Um, I did go for a smaller size because the early access, by the time, when I got my early access, which it was pretty early on the day that they did it, I got them in like, it, I got it like right between nine and 10 o'clock, but the nine and a half tens were already gone. So I got a nine. So I am going to see if I can work with these, but. I think I could uh, easily come across a nine and a half, ten if I need to, um, which is typically what I wear. But 13s do run big, so I was going to see if I can squeeze into these. I'm not going to try them on right now. But let's show off some little stuff that I dripped that I got to go with it. Champs had the hats on deck. Let's see how that purple matches up. I seen these like a little while before these came out, but if you really actually, if you're really picky about your colors, the purple, the court purple is really darker than the hat. But this is a real deep dark purple if you're just looking at the hat, but next to the shoes, these shoes are way darker. The light makes it look. Maybe they're pretty even. They're pretty even, I say. But it would have been nice if this they could have just made this whole hat like a suede material. Um, it's a strap back, which I don't really wear much of. But cut, purple is one of my favorite colors, so... That's why I couldn't turn down, pass up getting this nine. But if these shoes end up not fitting, all of this will go back. <laughs> if I if I don't get the right size, I'm not gonna hold on to the drip if I'm not gonna keep the right size. If the whole fit ain't wet, if I can't wet, if I can't drip the whole fit, I can't keep the kicks. I was trying to say something like say a little rap. Um, and this is just a little champion t-shirt I found. It had the white one. I said, let me find me a black one. And boom, I got the last large in black. Which see, that purple really is different. But I'll make it work. Um, it has like a comic book type font says flavor amazing flavor um that pretty much wraps up my video and just uh comment and subscribe if you like them if you picked them up or if they were easy pass for you i know a lot of y'all waiting on the crimson lightning thunder fours um i'm not sure uh they did do wristbands today on those at um at uh, Dick Sporting Goods, and you know, once 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 uh, different companies start doing their own little raffle system, it starts off slow, but once it picks up that traction, everybody's on it. People are camping out at Dick's, and it's going crazy. Like I remember, you could used to go to Hibbit Sports and just go get whatever you wanted. When other companies had started doing the raffles, and Hibbit's first started stepping up their shoes. You could still just go there. Then they implemented the raffle, and it became impossible. I haven't hit in Hibbert. I haven't hit anything at Hibbert Sports since the uh, con not Concord since the Bread Elevens in twenty eighteen, and um. A pair of Yeezys that were lime green 
but they look like the statics. They had the static design. I can't think of the name of them, but I I hit both of those both of those in the same year and the same week. And since that, I can't hit anything else. I like, I think I ha I have a, I had an old number. What's going on with hips? I had an old number, and I think I can still use that old number. But when I apply for a raffle, I don't get the code sent to my phone to confirm it. So I put my new number in. Even though I updated my new number, someone else had had my new number previously. So I never really get any points. It doesn't do my points right. And when I go back to the new number... I mean, my old number, it seems like it, if I use it in store, I think I still get some type of, like, love. Like, I can go in there if I do get a reward. Like, I don't know how I did it, but I got a $10 reward I bought when I bought the um, Lightning, or is it the Thunder? The Lightning, what are the Thunder Fours? I'm confused. The yellow fours. I can't think of what lightning thunder. I'm a little confused. When I went and bought those, I got a reward. Uh, no, no, no. I, I bought some shoes the previous week. And, you know, Hibbit City girl merged. So, I think that's what it is. My City girl number is my new number. My Hibbit was my old number. And since they've merged, it's like some sort of issue. But I got some points for a previous payment and then i got to use the rewards on the yellow fours in store when they restock but if i use them on the app i don't get anything because the number situation so it's kind of funny but i don't hit anything i think i did i think i did hit a raffle since then but i use the old number still somehow it is so it's confusing but i still put in every week and I don't hit stuff. I just do it for fun to see if I ever will. But it's only one. That's the only way you can really build the stuff up. But I then I'm up talking again a little short winded. I didn't want to be on this video that long, so I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Stay laced.